you could think of anybody, you know, that should be there, just let me know, and I'll get them on the list. Awesome. Uh, what is it? Just like cocktails? Yeah, it's kind of just like cocktails. Everyone's gonna mingle a little, and right, I'm gonna kind of present it to them for the first time. So. All right, I'll do that. All right, bye. Who is that? It was Boo Boo. Oh. I was trying to see if she was coming to the Stop Attack launch party. Stop Attack is an emergency assault app. You could record a moment where you feel that you are in need of help or that somebody else is in need of help, and immediately you can notify the authorities. A lot of things like this kind of don't get enough attention right. by word of mouth, but if you do a photo campaign, That's I feel true. like that alone. Via like, social media? Yes. You're starting today with that, yes, right? I think of your word. The photo campaign for Stop Attack is very simple. You write down on your hand what you want stopped in this world. You post the picture using the hashtag Stop Attack Challenge and challenge your friends to spread the word. Are you having a um, lot of uh, people showing up? Yeah, well, I invited some celeb friends, just like some close friends and people that I media. think that will actually, yeah, media is going to be there. Well, the app. app is fantastic. Yeah. It's really, it's it's very useful and it's going to be yeah. like, you know, in case of emergency, I think it's great. I wanted to figure out some really cool ways to get it out to the world. So I felt like having an event for it and bringing some of my closest friends, as well as opening it up to some of the public, would be a great way to do so. Initially, when I first came in contact with, you know, Stop Attack, I was like, wow, this could be really cool for some kid who just doesn't know what to do or some somebody who wants to help somebody else in this situation. I think it could save people's lives. Exactly. The greatest thing about it is if somebody records it on this app, you could either immediately notify the police. The, the police. You could put like five people on a contact list that are like immediate wow. emergency, like here, I want these people to get it. So you could just press the button and it'll go straight to them. That's great. Yeah. And I thought about even when, you know, I was in that, you know, abusive relationship back in the day. I remember he instilled that fear in you that if you left him, he would hurt us. Yes. And because of that, you stayed in it. Yeah. But like literally to the point where you know you almost lost your life. I am so proud of her for doing Stop Attack. This is something that she could connect with, and I'm glad she's going to help others because honestly, if someone, maybe if she would have been able to tape him back in the day, we would have had evidence. You had bruises and you were covering them up all the time. That was the hardest thing. <laughs> to go through. I was watching you. It's been so long since I've even thought about it. It was so hard to deal with you being like that and you just kept staying. A mother to sit there and think that any day now I was gonna get the phone call that you were gone. It's one of the hardest things as a parent is to watch your child go through an abuse and she was a grown adult who just kept choosing to go back.